So I think we've got a good idea of um, the rotational grazing here. A lot of people would be a bit concerned about animal health issues of, of grazing lucerne. Tell me, how do you deal with animal health issues on this crop? Yep. So uh, our main one would be, um, you know, like uh, red, red gut um, can be quite an issue, especially on um, freshly um, sown lucerne, that first kind of graze. Okay. Yep. So um, ways we get around that is um, we, um, we let it uh, actually um, mature a lot more and, um, and almost um, when it starts to wilt a little bit, it, it, it goes a bit harder and we found that that is quite um, uh, yeah, a way of dealing with that. So is that a, you're talking about a new stand? Yep, yep. So a new stand, we'd normally suggest to people that they take it and take a crop of hay or something off it, but you can't yep. do that. Yep. You've got to graze it. So yep. is that experience that said occasionally we went on a bit too young yep, yep. No, on those we crops have, and yep. we had some issues? Yep, no, we have, we have had a, um, <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely a, we, we've learnt from from um, you know mistakes, but um, yeah, it's it's just you just can't put them on it too early. It's just too rich for them, especially um, you know because the lucerne will be um, sown in the early spring, and then you know you go to graze it. You might be grazing it around um, just around that Christmas time, and it is glowing red or green essentially. Yeah, uh, yep. yeah, yeah. So um, and it allows the lucerne as well. It puts out a flower and does its thing. So, so you're letting it get quite mature before you're doing that first grazing on yep. that. Um, on that newly sown one. What about these more established stands? Animal health issues on these, how do you deal with those? You mentioned um, there's a pre-lamb vaccination. Yep, yep, so they get a, um, they'll get an eight in one, and the lambs also get one at tailing time, um, and and um, and they'll also get one. Um, so is that an eight in one for the lambs as yep, well? Yep, for the, for the lambs, and, the, and uh, every, uh, they'll get um, every month until they get kind of killed, we just keep it up to them. Okay, yep, yep. so is that again experience that you've yep. lost animals with Clostridia or yep. some other? Yep. Yep. No, definitely. So, um, and we found, yeah, you, um, you, um, yeah, avoid a lot of those. You know, you might be 10 percent or whatever like that. But even just doing those vaccinations, we found that you know it makes up those that you know that ten percent that we might be losing. That cost to it. Is yeah, it's well outweighs covered. it. Yep. Um, also, uh, other one is um, salt. We have to keep the salt um, up to them. Um, obviously, uh, the lucerne is, um, uh, holds on to the, um, the potassium. Um, and, the, and the leaf and, yeah. the, and the sodium and, and the roots. Yep, yep, yep. So do you have so, salt blocks? Just Yep, just salt blocks. And we also put out um, mineral, minerals as well. Okay. Yep, like a mineral mix. And um, we find that that that's, um, just helps, helps with that. Um, also, uh, especially with the hill country, we're able to um, balance their diet as well um, you know um, some of the gullies and stuff have um, still um, plenty of grass and stuff in there so the, the ewes and the lambs themselves are actually uh, are able to balance their diet it's not like a sole crop of um, just lucerne yep so we, that's actually um, yeah definitely that balanced diet helps so eh? so um, I'm going to suggest that animal health issues you've actually taken care of most of them yep. so you're not having horror stories of dead lambs everywhere yep. I'm hoping <laughs> yeah yeah um, okay oh, all through it's all been through uh, trial and error and learning as well as you go um, yeah definitely I think that balanced diet is the main thing um, you know so some of our paddocks that um, don't have any of um, any grass or anything and so we might we might actually um, if we notice that they we think that they need they're looking a bit off you know that that you can tell they've got a bit of a crop guts they're not not Blowing consuming as much as you think as they much. would yep. and you can tell straight away and um and we just we'll just take them off and put them on some grass paddocks for a couple of days you know sometimes we'll do it um you know like a, a week or two and then and then put them on a on a grass paddock for a week uh for the weekend you know a couple of days they get a big belly of grass and they come come right straight away great